happy Friday. Today I am going to go around the city to do some thrifting. I'll take you along to three of the different thrift shops that I'm trying to go to. And then also since it's the end of March, beginning of April, I wanted to stop by University of Washington to see the cherry blossoms at the quad. It hasn't rained or anything really hard lately or been super windy, so I think all the flowers should still be on the trees, or at least I hope. Let's go. Another nice day, and I'm gonna stop by Pier 62 again, because again, you can see the mountains. It's crazy how much construction they've done in just like a couple of weeks since the last time I came here. I just learned about this. This is the seawall that's to protect the city and everything that this is holding up from getting eroded from the water. You can see it's like textured wall, which is supposed to help with like wildlife growth and just prevent erosion in general. And then, let me walk over here. So these, they're supposed to let light through. So that stuff can still live below the seawall. The last time I was here, we were maybe like up that much. growing up. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to explain what was going on in my mind as I was thrifting and trying these things on. 
So this crew neck caught my attention as soon as I saw it on the rack. Uh, it says Washington on it and there's some embroidery. So I knew that that would last for a long time. And then I tried on this maxi skirt. It's velvet and black, but I wasn't too sure about the fit. And then I tried on this sweater. I really liked the colors and the stripes, uh, but the fit was kind of weird around like the armholes and the shoulders, but I really liked the colors that were on there. And then I tried on these pants. The fit also was a little too big. I tried to see if it's maybe something that I could adjust by sewing, but that would be too much work. And then I tried on this sweater vest, which I loved. The fit was perfect. The only thing was the colors. It felt a little bit too Christmassy to be able to wear like on a daily basis. And then I tried on this yellow tank with this cute little flower in the middle, which reminded me of my like ballet recital uh, outfits. But when my shoulders would like be close together, it kind of like drooped a little bit where the flower was. So that's what made me feel a bit eh about it. And then I tried on this top. It's actually a kid's top, but it works as a crop top. It says everyone needs their own spot. But I really like the colors in this, especially the yellow. So we'll see if I end up getting it. Stay tuned later for a thrift haul. But now we are on our way to UW for the cherry blossoms. Wow. Okay, so I'm at UW right now. And it is so, so pretty. Like, I just feel like I'm in a garden and not even, like I forgot that I'm on a school campus. Like the buildings are so pretty and the landscaping is so nice. And I'm in this spot right here. I think it's filled with magnolia trees. I think, I'm not entirely sure. I like quickly walked by the quad and there's a lot of people there, um, but I'm waiting for Anthony to arrive and then we'll head over, but. <sighs> Oh, I can't wait until we even go to the quad. That'll be crazier. So these, I'm pretty sure, are magnolia. Just look at them. Or these ones. Maybe they're both magnolias. Okay, there's like a lot of people. But it makes sense because it's so, so hard pretty. To find but the quad was like crazy busy. I can't even imagine what it's like not during COVID, but it was still very worth it. Highly recommend going. Uh, towards the end of March, beginning of April, at least that's when the cherry blossoms bloomed this year. So I'm glad we got to experience that. That was Animal Crossing in real life. So we're driving down the five south, which means we'll see my favorite view of the city. I want to show you guys what I got today. So obviously I got this beret, which I love very much influenced by uh, BTS, specifically Kim Taehyung. Um, so yeah, very V-esque. I also got this sweatshirt, embroidered Washington sweatshirt. I feel like this is something that I would wear when we go camping or just like hang out with friends or just like go out grocery shopping or something. The other thing that I got, so this is the crop top, basically just a kid's top. I wanted to go to any kind of like paper goods store in the city and just get a journal from there rather than ordering it online. And I stumbled upon this place called Pike Street Press and it's one of the stores that's like at the bottom of Pike Place Market 
and they have a bunch of really cute stationery, paper goods, and a lot of the things there are kind of like Pacific Northwest slash Seattle themed. And this is the notebook that I got with the contours of a mountain. I don't know if it's like a specific mountain or not. ready to clam. This is a little bit different than the last time we went clamming because we are um, gonna be looking for horse clams, which is what's more abundant at this beach. Horse clams are like one to two feet below the surface. So we brought our little spade so we can dig a little bit more. And it's all sand. Whereas when we went last time at Shine Tideland State Park, it was like a lot of rocks and stuff that we just kind of like had to turn over. So we'll see how it goes. We're seeing people dig up holes and there are clam shells, so Come here. there are probably clams here. The tide is so low. We're trying to decide where to go. We've got Manny on the belt. We don't know where to go, but we found a hole. We also walked towards where people are. Here we saw some more shells in this area. Let's see if we have any water. How deep are they? <laughs> it's a two, one to two feet. Oh my god, that's a big bubble. Bad. Keep going. <laughs> well, that's two. Oh. That's bad. Bro, and it's fallen. Nope. This is a lot harder than last time. <laughs> we've got like three. They're pretty small. What we've found to maybe be helpful, I don't know how helpful it is because we haven't really succeeded, but we look for a hole in the sand and then just dig deep really fast uh, before the hole like fills up with water. These are so big. How do we get clams of that size, huh? Huh, Manny? Can you help us? Do I felt them moving? Really? Just put your hand down. There's like... <laughs> just, the just put your hand down and then... Look, there's another one right there. Right oh, here. yeah. Oh. <gasps> Just like last time, we did not have that much luck. And then we moved to where the people were, or actually we moved to where Anthony said that we should go. And then we found the mother load. So the new strat is Listen go. To Anthony. <laughs> the new strat is to go like in the mid tidal area. You don't have to go like all the way over there. And then you just dig kind of deep. And then from there, just use your hands to like move around the sand and all the water and then you'll like feel 